we're going to go through and get your Prometheum board set up so you can go ahead and work with your students on this great interactive tool. The first thing you'll see when you find your Prometheum board is it'll be set up with some default profiles. We want to go through and set up one of these profiles with your name and tie it to your account. So that's what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and tap right here on Teacher 1. And then on Teacher 1, what we're going to need to go is to go to any one of our um, Promethean um, menus. You will see that they are open up on either side. It doesn't matter which one you use, you're just going to go ahead and tap on one. I'll tap on this one on the bottom, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the locker. And that's not right. I'm going to go ahead here, and then I'm going to tap on Teacher 1. And then on Teacher 1, I'm going to go ahead and go right here to where the gear is set. And that's going to pop up. And what I can do right now is I can go ahead and change you, Teacher 1, to your name. So I can take this um, keyboard. I can move this anywhere on the screen to make my life a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and backspace, and I'm going to put in my name. Go ahead and tap on OK. So I just changed it from Teacher 1 to my name. You will see on this window right here, I have a gray bar on the bottom. This gray bar on the bottom is always going to be how you can move any one of our windows that are open. I have a pin left, pin right, full screen, minimize, and close. So here's an example of what pin left looks like. It takes whatever program or app you have open and takes half the screen on the left side. That would be the same thing for the right. Again, making it full screen would take whatever app or program you have open and make it fit the whole screen. And then there's minimize. Minimize is often one of the things that students and teachers will struggle with because they don't know where it went. On a Windows computer, you can look on your taskbar on the bottom. That's not the case on a Promethean board. To get that back open, what I would need to do is tap on my Unified menu and then I would go to Recent Apps, and you'll find any apps that you have open will be found right there. So I can go ahead and tap on that. It's back open. I'm going to go ahead and take it off of full screen, and then I'm going to drag this gray bar up, and I can move it anywhere I want. You will see right here in the lower corner I have these dots. These dots I can click and drag, and I can resize it any way I want. You can have a max of four programs open at a time, so you can really utilize the big space. Okay, so we changed our name, looked a little bit about how our um, windows will be open on here. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to go through and be able to set this up so we can lock it with a pin. And this is really important because when you leave your classroom, you want to make sure that you have your board secure. And you never want to give your pin to another teacher or to a sub. You want to make sure that we do things a little bit differently when we have a sub in the building. So to set that pin, I'm going to go ahead to my unified menu, and I'm going to go to the locker, and then I'm going to click here on the left-hand side, and I'm going to make sure that I have palm mode turned on, and if no one has used your board, you're going to go ahead and tap that to turn on palm mode. Then I'm going to go to more settings. Once I'm in more settings, I'm going to go ahead and scroll to security and location and then on security and location I'm going to go ahead and go right here to screen lock and then I'm going to go ahead and choose pin. The pin that you choose has to have at least four digits. Um, it could be the pin that you use for printing or your voicemail. Make sure it's not the pin that you use for your debit card and I'm going to set a demo one in right now. You have to have at least four characters you have to enter it twice. And now you have the board set up so that way it is locked. The only way you can get into your profile is by entering that pin. So how do we go through and set that up? Well, one of the things you're going to want to do is to test is if you go ahead and just tap the power button right here on the very bottom of your board, it sends it back to the home screen. And then once you tap your screen, you're going to see right now it says Grassle, whereas before it said Teacher 1. And the minute that I tap Grassle, I can go ahead and enter my pin and go from there. Now, here's an interesting fact. When you have students in front of you, you don't want to go through and actually type the pin up so like you can see, because the kids are going to be able to see that. All of you will be receiving a wireless keyboard. 
And the wireless keyboard is going to be how you want to make sure that you enter in that pin so students can't see what your pin is. So I would just go ahead and enter it in that way. And again, students can't see what's there. Um, I again, go through, set up your username and your pin.